Hello everyone and welcome back to RSM Custom Guitars. Okay, so we're now in the final few stages of getting this guitar finished. Um, in today's video we're going to be making the Faraday cage for the control unit. Um, then we're going to be actually installing the electronics and then finally we're going to be putting the guitar together and for the first time we're actually going to see what this guitar looks like. Okay, so without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, so I thought we'd do a coat of finish together on the body. Uh, so far we've got two coats on here already and in between each coat we just give it a, a, a very light rub down with some very fine grit sandpaper or some wire wool and then obviously wipe it clean with some white spirit or methylated spirits or such like. Okay, so I've just got, I'm just using a, a small piece of sponge here or you can use a, a brush or any other means you wish but uh, for me this works quite well so I'll be using this today. So just a few spots on a sponge, I'll be using true oil as well. And uh, not applying too much on the sponge at one time, just going to work it into the wood, just doing very small circles. You can also do figure of eights, any cir circular kind of motion, sort of gets it down into the grain. And after we've gone around the whole body like this, we're just going to apply a bit more and do long line passing. Okay, so that's nicely worked into the wood now. <clears throat> just apply a little bit more and just um, do some long swipes down with the grain. Okay, so after we've done that, I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel, fold it like so, and then you're just going to wipe away the excess because you don't want it just sitting there too thickly. It'll start looking cloudy. So very slowly build the layers up. Nice and even coats. As I say, this could take anywhere between 20 and 30 
times to get the uh, desired build up and effect. But it'll be worth it in the end. Okay, so that's one coat done. About another 20 odd to go. So at the moment I'm just making some pickup cover rings um, just out of a piece of oak. So that's the first bit that's come off. And we should be able to get three or four out of this. Now I'll just put these to the sander and get everything in the final shape. Okay, so we're gonna be making a Faraday cage. Um, I'm gonna be using some aluminium tape. You can also use copper tape. Um, so this is just gonna stop any external radio frequency interference. Uh, so you obviously don't wanna be picking up classic FM in the middle of your live set. That wouldn't be too clever. So let's say I've got some um, aluminium tape and we're just gonna be lining this cavity here and we're just gonna be bring it up just over the top of this ridge and what that will do is with the lid of the uh, cavity we've, we've also got this insulated as well so when we've got this lipped over that's just going to make contact and it's going to make a nice tight seal so we'll start uh, lining this now it's always a pain in the, in the backside to try and get this separated though.
Okay, so that seems to be it. And now we can actually go about putting our uh, electronics in there. Okay, so this is pretty much everything we need for our guitar to make it an electric guitar. Um, so we have our soldering iron, our solder, uh, two 500k pots, uh, orange drop capacitor, three-way toggle switch, and an input jack. Um, we've got two Seymour Duncan hot rods, and plenty of wire, and a few togs. So let's get cracking. So we're actually going to gloss through this process quite quickly today. But in future, I want to make some good tutorials on actually how to do some soldering because there's some really nasty uh, lessons out there on YouTube at the moment. There are some really good ones, but you have to sift through quite a lot. And also, I want to do some tutorials on some some more of the the, the more common uh, wiring harnesses, so such like the the Strat and the Telecaster and the the Les Paul, and maybe a couple of others. So as I say, we're just going to blast through this process and then get on to the next stage. Okay, so with a bit of luck, 
This is going to work. I'll we'll tap test on the pickups. It's alive! Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start fitting all these little components to the guitar now. Obviously this is for the neck, these are the machine heads. Uh, but we've got the bridge here that we can fit. We've got the control knobs. We've got the jacking plate. Uh, the strap buttons. And yeah, we're just going to start putting these on here now. Okay, so all the hardware's on there now, all the other bits and bobs. Um, our little custom-made pickup rings have come up quite nicely. They suit the guitar quite well, so happy with that. Um, and now I'm just going to loosely put the neck on, just to have a, a quick preview on what the actual guitar is going to look like on the whole. It's all about the camera work. I'm just trying to do everything at once here. So that's quite a snug fit. You can actually pick the guitar up by the neck without it even being bolted on, so it's a it's a proper job. So yeah. I'm just gonna go away and put the machine ho machine heads on in a little while, get them fitted to the headstock, and then I'm gonna set the guitar up, put the strings on. And then in the next video we'll come back and plug it in and see what uh see if it plays okay. So hopefully see you in the next video.